Yo, this is Eternal Place, Pokemon Shining Pearl. We are continuing here in the route east of the Victory Road, or shall we say the part of the East Road East, which was locked behind before we could beat the Pokemon League. Now we've done that. The area is now open. We have a girl with us called Marley as well, who is following us with an Arcanine of hers, which has been very helpful. And we continue now to fight more double battles. A battle is a clash of willpower. The one who wants to win the most will emerge the victor. I see it. I see a victory for me. Well, we'll see about that. Technically speaking. Psychic Deandre and Psychic Kendra. With Girafferig and Chingling. So Girafferig is also one of those Pokemon that didn't get an evolution form in a long time, but in the recent Generation 9 Scarlet and Violet, Girafferig finally has a new evolution called Farigiraf. And he was. So yeah, it does even show that even the new generation Pokemon doesn't always have to be a new ones, they can also give evolutions to the existing ones, which I think is great. Now both of these are psychic types, but Girafferig is also a normal type. So it actually is immune to psychic as I mean immune to ghost as well. It doesn't really matter which one we take. Um, of these two, Girafferig is the stronger one, because Chingling is sort of like a baby Pokemon. But it's fine. It doesn't matter which one we do. So we take Chingling down. Chingling a pre evolution of Pokemon of a generation 2 Pokemon as well. And we'll burn up now from Arcanine on to Girafferig. Not enough to KO, but still pretty good move. Agility now from Girafferig, increasing his agility by 2. As long as Chimeko, this is the evolved form of uh, Chingling. Is also a psychic type. So we just do another crunch. Here comes Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt, which is one of those uh, weird moves because it's a physical psychic move, which is one of the few ones. It can be very useful to do well. It's sort of like a Focus Blast, which is a flying special attack. The Howl from Arcanine, increasing attack power of itself and its teammate, which is very good benefit for us. Now just do crunch again. This time on Giraffe Rig. We should end it. Helping hand. For Mark 9. Mean that our power will go up. Send Headbutt again. This time on to Luxray. And come to crunch. This should be a KO for sure. Low HP on Giraffe Rig, so it will not take too much into that beating before it goes down. And uh, that was this battle. But I thought I could win! The future is different. Why? Why, oh, why? A question for the philosophers, I would say. We have one more double battle, I think, the last one before we are done here. Another veteran and the black belt fight, as we had in the last one, too. So now we're going to face against veteran Brendan and black belt Willie. They have Pure Ugly and Onyx. Interesting combination. So Pure Ugly is a normal type from Gen 4. And uh, Onyx, you all know from the old days, Rock Ground Dual Type Snake. It is, has one of the highest defenses of all Pokemon, but it is very, very weak when it comes to special defense. So one special attack that it can be hit by it's going to take a lot of damage. Unfortunately for me though, my Luxury doesn't have any special attacks, so it doesn't really do much damage to it. Let's instead go for Spark on Pure Ugly. Good damage, but not enough to KO it though. Here comes the Burn Up from Arcanine on Onyx. Not very effective, but it is a still good damage attack on Onyx. Body Slam on Arcanine. Doing some damage from Stone Edge as well. Doing good damage, but not super effective though. So that's fine with us. Let's just do the same again. Another Spark on Pure Ugly. That should be KO. Will be. Pure Ugly goes down. 
Raptor Dash is 67. 67 is now our low level, which is pretty good. Lear from Mark 9 on to Onyx, causing his massive defense to drop a bit. Sand Tomb now from Onyx, doing a bit of damage, but not too much on Mark 9. Next up is Graveler, another rock ground dual type. So now there's two of them. Let's change them. Let's change from Luxray to Empoleon. Because I'm facing two Pokemon that are very weak to water, both dual type rocking ground, so better to use a water type. Arcanine another how to increase attack power for itself and its partner, which is a bit not needed much for me because my Empoleon is a uh, is a special attacker, doesn't have any physical attacks. Hard now from a Graveler increasing defense. Santum keeps doing some damage onto Arcanine. Onyx did the dig, so it'll now be down the ground, it'll hit next turn. So Surf, this is gonna be a dangerous move because Surf will also hit the partner that you fight it against, so it'll hit everything. Onyx gonna miss because Onyx not even there. Here comes Surf, gonna hit on Arcanine and Graveler. Graveler's gonna survive because of the sturdy ability, causing it to survive in 1 HP. Good dig on Empoleon. Super effective because opponent's weak to ground as a steel type. Double edge from Graveler on Arcanine. That's gonna be KO on Arcanine, but it also will KO itself because of the recoil. A double KO there basically. Don't Marley another Pokemon. We'll see. Go back next up. Marley does not have any more Pokemon, so we are now on our own. Two versus one, no problem. Now we can just surf without having to worry about our our partner. Come surf. Can we KO on, on Onyx? Will we KO Golbat too? No, Golbat will hold on. Is the Onyx will go down? Robot will respond with bite. Not that much damage. Mainly because Gobat is not a dark type, so it doesn't really get a lot of bonus uh, damage from using bite. Let's do it one more more surf. Surf is good because it does total damage pretty high because it hits both targets. Gobat's gonna go down. Critical hit just to make sure of it in case something were to happen. And Staraptor is level 70, second Pokemon on my team in the 70s. Here comes Bulk Up from Machamp, increasing both its attack power and defense. We're not a concern for me because my attacks are physical, special attacks. Surf number 3 comes out, this is number 4. Probably. That will take down the Machamp. That should be the end. 69 now on Empoleon. Just 4 special attack, pretty good. Victor is ours. All I can manage now is to wheeze out a few me size. Rrr, Judo Chop defeated. Well, maybe if you use Fighting type next time, that would be better. There wasn't really much of them. Oh! This is it! There's a stone tablet ahead! I want to see the Pokemon that visits it. That's all. I appreciate you escorting me. At least a little. A little? Wow. She is uh, a bit rude. Let's grab this item here. A big pearl. Just a pearl, but a big one. It can be worth a lot of money to sell. Up these big stairs here, and you can see there's some light outside. That means we are now outdoors. On route 224. Not really much more else to see here. Trainer may begin battle. There's something about you. Not just anybody. I'll challenge you. Challenge accepted. Versus Ace Trainer Ruben. With two Pokemon and that's going to be Holy World. Holy World, a water type Pokemon. 
Regeneration 1. The wolf form of Poliwag. This is a good one for us to fight because Luxray has electric types moves. Poliwell hits them. So let's take that into our exploit. And take down this Poliwell quick and easy. Next up is Gyarados. That's even better. Even better for us. Out comes the Intimidate, which is not really a big thing of our concern. We'll just do another Spark. Just like that. Critical hit as well. Man, that's, that's 8 times damage against the Gyarados. So Gyarados is probably hit for 50, but now hit for 400 instead. Ouch. You're a different level of expertise for sure. Well, it's more about you use Pokemon that I'm very strong against. But hey, I'll take the compliment. I've seen countless trainers and even more Pokemon. So, what kind of a trainer are you? Um, the one that fights? Maybe? Veteran Armando. And he has Staravia, another Pokemon that is good for Luxray. Staravia, I already know from before, we had one in our team for a long time. It's the wolf form of Starly and the final form of... or the middle form of Staraptor. Both using Intimidate. Which means my Spark will do a little less damage, but I think it should be more enough to take it down in a single hit. And the answer to that question is yes. Another critical hit again, man. Luxray, you are performing today. 69 now on Luxray, which is good. Make them just Pelipper. Another Pokemon. Very weak to electric. Just like Gyarados, this is a dual type water and flying. And it has a four time weakness to electric. So one spark and this Pelipper is gone. No chance. It has Drizzle, which is a very nice ability. Drizzle is causing causing it to rain, which means water power goes up, fire power down. Thunder has perfect accuracy, and Solar Beam will need two turns to charge before it can be able to use. Golbat, Flying, and Poison Dual type also weak to Electric, among other things. Easy beaten like that. It's a victory. I see. Simply outstanding. Outstanding indeed. Let's see, we need to go around here. Is that a black belt there? Do you want to fight him? Yeah, no, need to. This guy we can fight though. I don't care who you are. No one differs in my treasure hunting. Really? Face up against Ruin Maniac Larry with that one Pokemon. That one is Steelix. Ugh. We have to switch that. Steelix, dual type steel and ground. So he's immune to electric, and Steelix is one of the Pokemon with the highest defense of all Pokemon in the game. But he's also weak, very weak to his uh, weakness. So he's weak to fire, he's weak to water. And fighting as well, among other things. But you don't want to hit him with a physical attack, though, because he's very, very resistant to physical attacks. I'm gonna go with Empoleon, then. Empoleon is weak to ground, though, so be warned. Steelix can super effective use moves against Empoleon, who's a steel type. And yes, yeah, Steelix is even weak to his own type, he's also weak to ground. comes the uh, Surf. Will it KO though? Yep. One it KO. Sometimes the legs have sturdy, so it should be able to survive, but this one does not, and this is gonna go down. My treasure. My Pokemon. I'm not trying here. I constantly analyze Pokemon in various battles on my laptop. 
a good way to analyze. With uh, Ace Trainer Jamie, she also has one Pokemon. That one is Metagross. Metagross, Dual Type Steel, and Psychic. It means only has a few weaknesses. He's weak to Fire. He's also weak to Dark. And it would also normally be weak to Ground, but I think it has Levitate. Oh no, this one does not levitate, that's clear body, but there are some Metagross I think that has levitate. Makes it immune to ground. This one has clear body, which means it's immune to um, status changes. Hammer arm, which is a powerful um, powerful fighting move, but it does cause speed to go down as well. Of itself. Crunch number two will land on Metagross, and that one is gonna cause it to get KO'd. And I win. Things doesn't always work according to my calculations. Sometimes even computer analyze, analyzing things doesn't always mean a victory. Often, but not always. Now we come to the end of Route 224, and that is on this stone slab here. The armor surface is polished with like a mirror. Now, if you do have the key item called the Oak's Letter, you can then meet up with Professor Oak here and he will open up a path that goes all the way to the top here for a long route to another Pokemon. But I don't think I have this one because I think I missed out on it. It was temporarily available through Mystery Gift. We can try it to see if we can get it though. I do think we are too late. Yeah, no gift was found. So, we're too late. Maybe it's available with code or password or something, I don't know really sure. But yeah, if you do have the Oaks letter, if you play this game, I think it was... There was a certain time period when this game came out. I think it was the start of 2022, where there was a letter. You got the letter and then you can uh, throw care, a path, this place will become flowers. And the mythical Pokemon Shaman will come here and you can then capture it. And it will then be able to be on your team. But if you're um, if you end up playing this game now outside of this timer, it won't be here, so that's unfortunate. But I do have Shaman on my Pokemon Home, so maybe I'll just bring it out later to show it off. But yeah, no Shaman for me in this one, that's unfortunate, but that's fine. So now we pro probably explored everything that is in this part, but we're not done yet. Exploration, there's more to do. So next episode we're going to explore more of the Sinnoh region, we have more areas to take a look at. So yeah, if you had the Oaks there, you'll get a long path that goes all the way up to like here-ish. You'll find a uh, shame. You'll get yourself a new Pokemon. But we don't, so that's unfortunate. That's fine. Next episode though guys, we're gonna travel a bit around Sinnoh, explore more places, find more Pokemon, find some trainers that weren't available before before and take care of them and, and fight them and then we're gonna take a look and see what else there is to explore and what else to find in the Sinnoh region of the post game. Like, comment and subscribe, follow me on social media, that's good for now, see you guys next time, it's my journey in Pokemon Shining Pearl. Continue.